Hello everyone, it's Nancy and Leah, and today we have some new products from Arteza. Um, we're gonna try them out, right? Yeah. So Leah has her Arteza sketchbook over here, which she has been happily doodling up. I'll link this for you guys, it comes in a two pack. But this is really heavy duty paper, so you can see here she colored with marker, it didn't go through to the other side. There was another page here where she did um, some water coloring and it didn't go through the other side. So a great, if you're into doing um, um, mixed media books and things like that, this is a really, really good option. So she's gonna do, use that. And then I'm going to use some of this Arteza Black sketch pad paper. Um, not ideal for like mixed media in terms of wet media. I did do some swatches with the metallic watercolors, which worked out fine because I didn't do a lot of water on them. But today we are going to try out some different types of gel pens. So they sent me 24 gel pens. Now these to me are kind of like regular gel pens, 23 different colors, but you get 24 pens because you get two black. And these are called, um, these are called, hold on. You get some vintage ones. So you get 20, I think you get 10 what they're calling vintage colors. Now I believe these do not work on black. We'll get back to those in just a moment. And we also have 14 metallic and 14 glitter. And these are the ones that I wanted to see on gel pens. Now when would you use gel pens? Well, number one, I wanna see if they will fit in Baby Joy. So she's off to the corner here. Um, two, I want to see if they work on black paper. Three, Leah's going to use them in her journaling, so scrapbooking, writing out cards, just everyday pens around the house. And also, I stamped out an image here, and we'll color that in and see how it looks. So we have a couple of different experiments we're going to do today, so hopefully you'll stay around. All right, so Leah, I'm going to give you these, which seem to be like regular drawing pens to me. Mm -hmm. um, what's cool is they do have the little um, wax bubble on the end to protect them, so you just pull that off and throw it in the trash, okay? Mm -hmm. And then you can just go about your doodling. Um, I think I get to draw a flower since that's really easy for me to draw, and I draw it a lot. So, um, I think I'm going to start with this green. Okay, and then these are click buttons. So, to click them down, you push down. To click them back up, you press on the handle there, and it will go back up. Can't get the wax tip off. Here, I'll help you. Oh, I got it. You got it? Yep, yeah. you just throw that in the trash and then. hard. Yep, it's just a hard little wax bubble. Okay, so this one seems to be coloring okay. They are in this little kind of um, sleeve where they're all kind of wrapped around, which is nice if you want to keep them all together. But just remember that when you're putting them back in, they have this little plastic thing they just kind of clip onto like that. The vintage colors are the ones... Oh, here we go. Whoops. The vintage colors are the ones that have the white clips so these here and these are 0.7 which is a medium point which is nice <clears throat> so a wide variety of colors here again always I say with Arteza they always give a lot of nice bright colors so you have nice a lot of nice bright colors but a lot of neutrals in here which I like <clears throat> and then of course black we can use for everything right so let me slide these down let's put these these vintage colors are, are kind of like dark neutral colors. How do you like my stem so far? That's gorgeous. All right, so Whoa. these would be all of the brights, nice and colorful here. And then these would be what they're calling the vintage, which I'm calling kind of neutral colors. Whoa, <clears throat> this one fell off. That's all right, I'm going to use that one. So, so cool. here you go. You might want to move over a little more your book here so they can see you better. That's like um, a skirt of like pens. Yep. Ah. There you go. Stuck. I'll just put those up there. We'll move Baby Joy aside for a second. So these would be what I consider your traditional pens. They're just colored. Um, I like the click top. I'm a clicker topper person. <laughs> 
Do I like push them up <clears throat> to get them? You, yeah, you just pull them right off the thing there. Oh, I like that. Oh, you use this one. Okay. Just make it easier. It does make it easier, right? I'm going to take some green for my ivy here. I like to make stuff big. I don't know why, though. <laughs> Ooh, that's awfully dark. Maybe I'll use a little less of that. So, so far, they seem to be smooth writing. I don't see any. Sometimes when you get gel pens, they um, <clears throat> kind of clump up and you get yeah. like this blob of ink. Yeah. These don't to seem to be doing that. Yeah, these are way like cleaner and stuff. Smoother. Yeah. These are way smoother than the one that I used before. They seem to dry fairly quickly because as I'm putting this lighter green over the darker green, I wanted to see if I could get it to kind of mix. And they're really not mixing, which tells me that the dark green has already dried. So I guess it's a pretty quick drying ink, which is good. Yeah, so they don't smudge. Yep, they don't smear. But not really, not really for blending, but that's okay. Yeah, see, I just finished it. It's not um, scrubbing off on my hands. Okay. I'll borrow that, please. Okay. Um, I'm gonna take this blue. Ah, don't know what I'm pulling on, so I don't know how to get it off. Which one? The darker blue? No, that. That. Okay. We'll just take them all off. Yeah, just for take right them off. now. There we go. We'll put them back in the box then when we're done. Okay. <clears throat> So, what color should I make my mushroom? I thought I saw like a gray. Yeah. They're not like, you know, coloring markers. They're more like doodling markers, yeah. right? I would say they're more like writing markers things, pens. That looks like a good flower. That's great. Hold on, can I see it? Um, nope, you have to come all the way over here. Now they can see it. Go ahead. This would be great for accenting the other markers, like when we're using the twee markers, the coloring markers. You could use these to accent mm -hmm. and go back and fix them. It's kind of just a nice addition. We don't have any gel pens. We don't have any of these, do we? I'm trying to think. I don't think I do. No, I don't think we do. On these, you can... They use this, like this part, but mm -hmm. when I use them, I can press the top part. All right, so while you're continuing to doodle, I'm gonna get some of the other markers out. This is some coloring that I did on my stamped image there. So we're gonna hand these over to you, okay? 
because I want to swatch these out and I don't think they're going to work on, those aren't going to work on black paper. Let me just try. Yeah, no, that's what I thought was going to happen. So, that's my flower. I don't know how to You flower, are bright though. as a flower. F L O W E R. Very good. Let me make that an O. I like an O. All right, so the first pack I'm opening up here for the smaller ones, these are the metallic gel pens. Okay. Lots of bright colors here. I love gel pens for Christmas time in doing the envelopes and doing, um, you know, just writing my sentiment inside. So this is kind of like a bronze color. Okay, the lids do snap on. I was like, is that lid not going on? These are a lot of pens. I never thought, Blue. like, they could be so big that they made so much pens. Definitely more vibrant on white paper. I'll just keep swatching these out. Gold. Ooh, that's cool. I used to um, like use pens that are like those at um, the old babysitters. Silver. There's something like hanging off of on the pink. Oh, it's a rubber band. So, do they show up on black paper? Yes. Do you get as much pigmentation? Mm -hmm. Not Probably really, not. but you do see a lot of the shimmer. I like these two pinks. Now Ooh, that's think... like a gunmetal. That's pretty. Okay. We, I still have a whole other pile here. Now I think I'm going to draw a smaller flower. Um, this one. This is how I normally do a flower. I just draw a, a line. But this time I made like Z's. I know that a lot of people do... Um, trying to do stamp scapes and he uses a lot of gel pens in his art so these will be pretty if you're doing like fairy lights or stars um showing that that one that blue one didn't come out on the black paper so well there we go these do not have that wax ball on the end so that tells me they probably don't dry out we'll have to wait and see but again i don't see any blobbing and there you can see a nice variety of colors. Oh, this is a dark blue. And the metallic is um, going to give you that shimmer. Like a pearlescent. So, let's see all that. Nice, vibrant colors there. So those are pretty cool. So we do see some of that shimmer on the black. I mean, you do see there's a little bit of color difference, but they're pretty, um, I don't know, I'll just say a little bit of shimmer there. If you're doing like stars and stuff like that, I don't know that you would do solid coloring with them. All right, and then these are the glitter gel pens. So similar in terms of the way they look against the metallic, but you'll notice that the... Um, the clips, the glitter pens are transparent and the metallic pens are kind of um, solid and they do have this pearl sheen to them. So if you do have them all out, you can tell which is which. So let me pop all these. These seem to be much brighter in terms of the color choices. We'll see how these do. Oh, there's a lot of glitter, but yeah, you're not seeing the color on black. Ooh. That's a lot of glitter in that, though. Yeah, you can see the glitter on the black, though. Ooh, that's sparkly. Yeah. I think I like the glitter ones better. I'm going to put my name on the top. All right, I'm not going to bother to do them on black because they clearly are not showing up on black. I'll just swatch them out here. 
was afraid that there would be like an overlap of colors with definitely two different sets of colors here. The um, pearlescent ones are nice, but I think the glitter ones are um, much brighter in color. Now, some of these take a second to get warmed up and come out, but once you get them started, it seems to be fine. That's how I do my name on paper, so I connect everything. Nice. I think I'm done now. Okay. This one is really nice. I really like this. Okay, we're going to see if these can fit in Baby Joy, and if they fit in Baby Joy... And I won't have to be... That would be awesome. I won't have to be as sad as the Ooh, other pens that I've color. used because they've been on other, they, they've been through other pieces of paper. Okay, so I think we can take the black notebook away because they do show up. The pearlescent ones show up, the metallic ones, the glitter ones don't. There's a lot of glitter, but again, just to swatch out some of these. Oops. Oopsies. Oops. Did you not use any of these? <laughs> <laughs> I'll take them all off for you. Thank you. And I'll put them in a pile so it's easier to put them in the garbage. Oh, it's easy for me because I can just tear them open with... Oh, uh, well, I don't have fingernails anymore. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'll close Okay, them. so I would say the regular gel pens are very, very bright and pigmented. These would be great, like I said... For everyday doodling, if you do Zentangle, if you need something to put in the kids' go-away bag, something to keep them busy in the car. These are very bright. I like the click top, so you don't have to worry about losing lids. They're not going to roll because they have that um, the clicker on the side there. So like yeah, and they are very vibrant. And I like a medium tip. I don't like a pen that's too thin. Um, and it's kind of scratches the paper and I don't like one that's too thick. Um, but these seem to be very, very bright indeed. Lots of colors with the neutrals and the brights. So that's going to be your biggest pack with 24 markers. The next ones I would say I really like are the glitter ones because they are very vibrant, but there is a lot of glitter in those pens. Leah, I need to swatch those out and you're putting them in there. Which one did you just put in there? That one. Here, I'm giving you these two. And then the metallics are a specialty. I would say if you are doing, like I said, holiday cards, wedding cards, you really want it to stand out, the metallic is nice because um, there, there's a nice color to them. I would say a little bit more muted color but you can see that pearlescent shine in there. Now we'll have to try these out over time and see if they dry out. Hopefully they don't. Now this one was supposed to have two black markers did you already do a black marker? Because I didn't see a black one. Is this black? Oh, these are both black, I think. Yeah, these are both black. They just have one with a white cap and one with a... Black. Black cap. So we don't have to open that one there. Okay, and it doesn't look like any of the colors repeat. Nice variety there of markers. So yeah, I am pretty happy with these so far. Okay, now every color is watched. Do you want to show your, oh, you want to throw your little, yeah. your little wax beads away there? Yeah. yeah. And then we'll do some experiments here and see if these fit in Baby Joy. Um, nice collection to have. I'm pretty sure that they're not very expensive. Shipping, super fast as always. Bright colors. I would say if you get all three sets, they are three different sets. You're not getting any kind of replicating or duplicating color. Um, if you would just get one set or two sets, I would say the glitter pens are the brightest. If you like doing bright 
coloring colors. Um, the regular gel pens are nice for everyday gel pens. These are almost the pens that you kind of keep in the kitchen and everybody gets to have at it. So like the kids can use it, office, we can use it for work, writing, you know, grocery notes. I mean, these are just very versatile to me. And then the metallic ones are probably the ones that I would hoard <laughs> and keep just for, um, like I said, writing out journaling in scrapbooks or writing out cards, um, things like that. And they all store very nicely in their boxes. Can I see this? There we go. All right. Yes, we can see Leah drew this out. You are bright as a flower. Very nice. Good job. And we have no smudging or anything coming off. Does the glitter come off? No. The glitter comes off a tiny bit. There is a little bit on my finger there. It's not a whole bunch, dun, though. Dun, dun. Nothing with the uh, metallics. Yeah, a tiny bit of glitter came off of there, but there's a lot of sparkle in there. Okay, let's see if we can get any of these to fit in Baby Joy. Oh, yeah. Does that work? Okay, so I don't think that... These are going to fit. I just think that they're too wide. Yep. Yeah. All right. So the regular gel pens are not going to fit. Sadly. Sadly. Yep. Okay. Oh, there's a magnet on this. That's cool. Yeah. So these, ooh, we might have a winner here. Let's see. Oh, they're, they're too small. They're too small, but, oops, mommy smudged down there. I think we can put some washi tape. So can you get the ruler out of the drawer there? Mm, the ruler? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna try something out here. That drawer. Yep. This is probably the smallest ruler I've ever seen. This one has an like, um. Okay. So we need to mark up three centimeters. Three centimeters from the point. That would put us right here. So that's the tip. Okay, so we need to put washi tape in this so that washi tape can hold it in place. This washi tape? That washi tape might be too thick now that I'm looking at it. So this needs to be above the line. Right there. So I think I need thinner washi tape. Put this back because you're not using it. Yep. And oh, okay. That's an easy spot for it. So well, I really like that washi tape. About six inches of washi tape. And I'm gonna put it below my line. Drawn line there. And all I want to do is just give this pen um, some thickness so that it holds inside the Cricut Carrier. So this might even be too much tape. We'll find out in a second. I feel like it's too little tape. Well, I think that's actually a lot right there. Rip some of this off. So what we're doing is just giving the pen, again, some thickness so that it fits in the pen holder here. Where's my line? There it is. Nope, not enough. Not enough. Need a little bit more. Could have probably d uh, wrapped a rubber band around there, too. Oh, yeah. I don't have any rubber band. Huh? Do you? Yep, in the drawer there. Which is yours? Because you have two drawers. In here, I guess. Yeah. The rubber band right here. Ooh, that almost fits right there. I think we'll be okay. Let me do a little bit more washi tape. Now, of course, the point of this video was to review these markers, and I definitely think they're worth it. But if we can get them to work with Baby Joy, they're even more worth it, right? 
Okay, so basically to the top of the tape. Oopsies. Yeah, I think that's it. Does it fit? That it fits. fits. All right, let's do a test cut. I mean, a test writing. A test drawing. Test draw. And this is the metallic pen. We will also try the glitter pen because we want to see the consistency as well. And let me get my phone out. Let me go to Cricut Design Space. Okay, so I picked a little font here. We're just going to draw that hello. out. It says hello. Hello. And we're drawing it on that. Okay. Okay, we want to set it to draw. And I don't think it really matters what kind of pen. I'm going to pick the point 0.8 because these are point 0.8 to one point. And just pick pink. That's more for when you're designing it. Pink. Make it on the mat. Woo, that's awfully big. Let's make it a little smaller. I don't think you can. I can here. Make it smaller. There we go. There we go. Yeah, that's better. That's a little better, right? Yeah, I think that's better. Okay, connect to Baby Joy. It's on. This is in there pretty good. It's on because the light. We're on. point or we're three centimeters up. We're using regular cardstock. Loading our mat. Move these out of the way. Okay, let's see how these work. I hope this is really good. So while that's drawing. We'll see how it does. We're going to get the glitter markers and try the same thing with a glitter marker. That has dots in it? Yeah, it has little lines in it. I wanted to see how precise it would get. Hold on, can I see it? It has dots. Yeah, it has little little lines in it. Yep. Mm, that's cool. Uh, where's the washi tape? I need that. Yeah. Okay, let me move this blade. I don't want you getting cut. But if the gel pen work, the glitter pens should also work. So again, we are measuring up from the tip three centimeters. to be working and I don't see like blobby ink either which is what the other pens were doing and I want about eight inches oh I was like how are you measuring that and then I remember <laughs> here there's a ruler down there that is doing really well it's really smooth now, obviously, when you're done with your doodling, you have to take this tape off. Yeah. So, um, you know, it, like I said, if you can make one out of rubber bands, it would probably be easier. But I'll just 
just do washi tapes here. Okay, so now our glitter pen is ready to go. Our metallic pen is working great so far. And I'll link everything down below for you guys and a coupon code from Arteza for you. And I just did a video on the watercolors. If you didn't get to see those, I'll link those for you as well. But here you can see I watercolored this beautiful. Do you see the shimmer in there? Oh, there you go. Quite a bit of shimmer in there. But I'll link that video for you guys as well. I think that looks great. I'm gonna continue on here. So that was using the metallic gel pens. Let me pull it out so you guys can see. Come on, focus. There you go. Look at how clean the straight lines are. When I was using the Cricut markers, they kind of annoyed me because they would draw a line and then kind of blob, but these look pretty good. And then those little squares are part of the design and they came out pretty good. I am pretty pleased. And then, I don't know if the light will pick it up, but there is a little bit of a metallic sheen there. So we're gonna continue on using a glitter pen now. I've marked that up to three centimeters and put my washi tape around there. Okay, that's pretty good. Let me go back and redo my design here. So I want to say hello, Nomi, to go with our little gnome house here. Oops. Okay, there we go. We want to make sure that it is on draw and not cut. Glitter gel pens. This one is a teal color. Not that that really matters. Make it on the mat. I'm going to move it down to about here so it's okay. I'm going to hit continue, pair it with my machine. Oh, let me change the material here cardstock. Okay, now we're going to load it. go hopefully I have it lined up well and we'll see how it does this makes me happy because I was gonna buy the Cricut pens but now I don't have to and the glitter pen did come out a little globby here we'll see how that works oh because it's drawing the little dots Okay, maybe not so much with the dots next time. <laughs> yeah, the little dots are not going well. The straight lines are great. The little dots are kind of uh, a little too close together, I think. And that's probably because I, I picked the wrong font for this one. And then when you're done, you should be able just to pull that washi tape right off. And then you can 
save that and reuse it for the next marker. So yeah, great if you're doing journaling, if you are somebody that I know that, um, what is it my sister does? My sister does Bible journaling, um, planners. These are great. They're 14 in a box of the glitter, 14 in the box of the metallic. Like they are 0.8 to one medium tips, which is the perfect size. Nice, vibrant colors in both of these. And then the regular gel pens, 24 with the click top. Nice colors, you have brights, you have neutrals, you have two black pens in here. So we can give the two black pens to dad and then we get to keep the rest. <laughs> or not share at all. <laughs> but um, yeah, I definitely like these. I'm glad that I have them. Um, like I said, I was going to pick up the Cricut pens, but now that I know that I can get them to work in my Cricut Joy, no need to spend any money. Can use them for um, mixed media, can use them with doing stamping, can use them with doing inside cards. Um, again, if you're doing planning on any kind of summer trips this year, taking the kids anywhere, you can just throw the pack of these in the car with a notebook and say, here, have at it. They can play tic-tac-toe. They can play hangman. You know, whatever they're doing on their smartphones and tablets and things like that. So we are almost done with our glitter here and we'll see how it looks. Okay. There's a lot of sparkle coming off of there. <laughs> All right. So here we go. You can see the metallic pen is at the top there. And the glitter pen is at the top, or at the bottom. And you can see when it first started, it got a little globby there. But it finished out pretty good. The lines, again, are very straight. I think the metallic pen probably did a little better than the glitter pen. But there you can see all that shimmer on the green. That is all glitter there. There we go. Oh, yeah. Look at all that glitter. So what fun, great pens. Again, these will be good for the holidays as well. If you're going to be doing any kind of um, coloring on your cards or just doodling on your cards. Um, I just got a card from Karen the other day, and she doodled on the flowers. Let me find that one. So here she has some like spectrum, um, like the glitter pen there, but here, this is all metallic marker she doodled on here. And when you look at it normally, it really doesn't catch your eye, but as soon as you hit that, that's a metallic pen that she used. So really like that idea. Um, if you guys have any questions, post them down below. I will link everything for you. Um, I'll link the markers. I'll also link the papers and the journals that Leah and I used. And I'll link the video for the metallic watercolors, which really blew me away. I love those a lot. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I'll put my links down below for you guys. I appreciate you guys supporting the channel. Arteza does ask me if I want to continue with them. If you guys use my links, I really appreciate that. And a small discount code for you guys. Thanks for watching and keep on stamping. Bye-bye.